Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a shamrock. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the width to 1280 and the height to 720 pixels. Click OK. Press Ctrl and R on your keyboard to show the ruler. Next, press Ctrl K to open the Preferences window. Select the guides and grid and set the grid line to every 50 pixels and the subdivisions to 2. Click OK. Now press Ctrl and quotation mark keys to show the grid. Let's change the stroke color to none and the fill color to green. Now we will draw a heart shaped leaf. Select the pen tool, click on this corner, hold and drag the mouse one square up. Then release the mouse. Next, move over here, click, hold and drag. Now, click down below, then on the top anchor point to finish the path. Let's adjust some of the curves. Now we'll reflect this part to finish our heart. Drag a box to select everything, press the letter O for the Reflect tool and holding the Alt key on your keyboard, click on the bottom anchor point to set the reflection point. Now click Copy. Next we will unite these two parts together. Press Ctrl A to select everything Go to Pathfinder and select Unite. Now we will add a gradient to it. Let's duplicate this heart and make it a little smaller. Press the letter S for the Scale tool, press Enter and type 80 for the uniform, then click Copy. Now open the Gradient panel and let's create a gradient. Click on the Gradient tool and apply the gradient. Now using the Selection tool drag a box to select everything, right click and select Group. Now we will rotate this part and make two more copies. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool and holding the Alt key on your keyboard Click just below the bottom anchor point to set the rotation point. Set the angle to 120 and click copy. And press Ctrl D to make one more copy. Now let's adjust the position and rotation of the two bottom leaves. And finally, let's make a stem. Go to the Rectangle tool and select the Polygon tool. Click on the artboard and set the sides to 3 to get a triangle shape. Now using the Direct Selection tool, select the top anchor point and drag it up. Click on this anchor point, press the Shift and C buttons to switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool and let's change some of the corners. Click on this anchor point, hold and drag out. Now switch to the Direct Selection tool, click on the top handle and move it to the right. Now press and hold the Alt key. Click on the other handle and drag it to the right. And adjust the other curves until you like it.
Let's move it here. Resize it and rotate it. Press Ctrl and Quotation Mark keys to hide the grid. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.